What is up, everybody? It is that time I do D4DJ. There will be three videos for this. There's trial decks, a booster box for set one, and a booster box for set two. So I'm going to divide them out because they're different products, and I want to talk to them about these individually. So I know this has been a long time coming. Uh, I had scheduling issues. I even got hit with a copyright strike because I was trying to uh, hype it up by making my own music videos to their music, and uh, that didn't work out too well, so we're here. You might hear two different versions of this video. If you hear the one with music, then everything went well. If you don't hear the music, then uh, I tried <laughs> is what's going to happen. So this is for Rebirth for you. And this is D4DJ. What is D4DJ, you may ask? It is following the success of Bang Dream and Review Starlight. D4DJ is a brand new media mix from Bushy Road with DJs as its theme. D4DJ will show you a brand new world of DJs through DJ concerts, anime, and game. Besides remixing famous songs that transcend generations, the project will also create original songs. Please look forward to how D4DJ will develop. I actually absolutely love a lot of these songs I, I love playing the game that they have on the app i like it way more than uh bang dream even though i like the the songs and all of that from bang dream uh the gameplay on d4 dj just feels a lot more fun to me and then they have daily quest where bang dream does not actually have that so overall what you're going to see here there are six groups currently they did have season one of the anime they have also another one in chibi form called petite mix and they will be coming out with a season two next year, which will feature all six of these DJ groups. So you're going to notice that some of these voice actresses show up from Bang Dream and other places. Uh, this is the Nanchan from Rosalia. We have Yuka here from Morphonica. We have Aimee from Poppin' Party. That would be Kasumi there. You have Sumugi Risa, who is... Uh, from Raise the Ceiling, she's Chu Tu. If I miss any, I apologize. We have uh, Sai, she is from Poppin' Party, she is on Rondo. And then we also have Amane, who's the DJ for Lyrical Lily, who's from Morphonica. Again, if I miss any, my bad. But <laughs> overall, uh, my favorites will definitely be Photon Maiden and Peaky Peaky. The, the songs are just really, really great. Uh, I love them. Oh, and actually, we have Pareo right here, who uh, would be our Asora. Right, that would be Pareo from uh, Raise the Ceiling. And what we have here is three products. So what you're going to see here is three trial decks, which I'll be opening on this video. Booster Pack, Booster Box, uh, Volume 1 came for this the trial deck same time, as you can see, January 29, 2021. And this year, January 28, 2022, so a year later, they came out with a set two that is more of the D4DJ Groovy Mix, which is the the mobile app game. So that was more along that one, which I actually like. The art uh, is not chibi-ish inside of that Groovy Mix edition. So I love that art way better than what you're going to find with the chibi versions. But overall, I'm really happy they did that. It's more than likely never come to Y Shore. So I went ahead and bought it because I really like it. So talking about the product itself when it comes to the trial deck, uh, when it comes to the trial deck, you have, you know, as always, pre-built deck, 50 cards plus three partner cards. Uh, what makes these things special? Again, with Rebirth for you, they do something a little bit different. And that little bit of difference is serial number cards. That's what you are looking for when you open these things up. Uh, you're going to be looking for serial number cards. There are 50 uh, per actual serial number. So one for Rinku, uh, 50 of them. You're going to have uh, 54 Mooney. That is not Mooney. That's Maho. Maho, Mooney, you know, all of them. And then we have Shinobu here. And as you can see, everyone gets a card. I really want, I really want Yuka. That would be the one I want the most out of all of this. So hopefully, there she is. Bam. Uh, look at her. I want that one. But you can see what I'm saying about the whole chibi art style there, where her character actually looks like this. So you're going to see that more in the volume two, which is going to be really, really nice for me because I, I just like that versus this. Even though that's like fun, playful, chibi and all that stuff, we got that. So uh, price wise, what we have going on is you can see a whole bunch of them wiped out. You can go to other websites 
and you'll find some of these pricings. But when it comes to the serial card, that's really what you're looking for out of this. They have foil versions of all the trial uh, cards, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go, let's do this. And let me do that. And let's go, so what I got here is, I got uh, these trial decks, we're gonna open them one by one. Uh, more than likely, I don't expect any sort of serial number cards. I obviously bought, came and bought this late into the game. I would've actually bought a whole display of them. But really, like, these are actually Shikishis, by the way, that I got from the Bushy Bro Global Online Store. I don't think I ever officially shown them. I made a video of it, I just never put it up. So, here is your foil version, and here is your non-foil version, I guess, of these Shikishis. And I don't know which one I like the most. I know, like, this foil symbol. This is hilarious, because this is, like, what we go through at the Y Shores, right? We get these foil stamps. I know with, um... Rebirth for you, they have that too, those MVPs that happened on, uh, you can see it on Konosuba. I don't know which one I like more. Do I like this close-up, non-foily version, or do I like this stamp version? I like them both. I like having that close-up, right? And then uh, here is the Happy Around version as well. Here is Rinku. And the sucky part about all this was uh, they didn't have all the members. It was just like the the lead... I was going to say singers, but you can see this is the secret. This is all the different characters that you actually keep. So if you want to call them the leaders of their group, then that's, I guess, what you would call them. So that is just me showing that. Maybe one day I'll show the, all of them off, but we are going to do this. So first up, what we got is Happy Around. Again, what we're doing here, uh, when it comes to Rebirth for you, it is definitely not something I would tell somebody to invest in. I would say there are definitely sets that are better than the others. Like they actually had a Hollow Live set that came out. Um, you, if you've seen my Kona Suba video, obviously uh, the serial numbers on there, the uh, freaking parallel premium partner cards is really, really, really nice. Like that, that was super, super nice. So uh, with the with the swimsuit so there are definitely cards worth collecting i think from rebirth for you as in a collector standpoint outside of that it's i it depends on your area if you have somebody to play with and obviously i don't have anybody for y schwarz that means i'm definitely not going to have anybody for rebirth for you so i am not going to count on actually collect or playing this game ever which is unfortunate because it'd be cool to play I'd be down to play this. And again, there was two ways to open it. You can open it here. It actually says enter, which is, that makes sense to me. I always am confused to see like English and then always, and then Japanese as well. The sticker says, or this thing says enter. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know like uh, with Japanese music as well, at least when I hear Bang Dream, you could hear like Rosalia does that a lot where there's like this intermixing of um, English and Japanese, which, no, I'm struggling with this. I'm sorry. You saw my Konosuba. This isn't new. <laughs> this, this isn't new with my struggle because uh, Rebirth for You definitely does this. Okay, I tore that. And gingerly attempt to rip you out. Okay, well, that's one way to do it, apparently. <laughs> Again, you get your uh, playmat instructions and all that, as we've seen with all trial decks. And then, here we go. I do, I still wonder about how they put these cards in there. If there's like an actual machine that does this, or someone hand does it. I can't imagine someone hand doing this. There's got to be a machine that just blows it open, shoves the card in, and then folds it over. But it is an interesting, I, I just think it's interesting seeing like how, um, you know, there's Y Schwarz cards, and then you have Rebirth for You cards, and you know, it's all different how uh, the packaging is, um, everything like that. So here we go, I'm excited, I'm excited. So Happy Around is your main group for the anime, definitely a lot of love towards Rinku here. Uh, she is quite the character, and so let's take. I forgot how to do this. So again, we got Rinku here. 
And it's your typical trial deck. One day I will get someone to play with me. Uh, Mrs. B has just arrived home, so she will probably try to uh, quietly go around me. I've seen people open trial decks of D4 DJ, and what ends up happening is you will see like somewhere in here would be the serial number. It's not like in the back where you have it with um, where you have it with Y Schwartz. It's going to be like somewhere in the middle uh, or like replacing one of these regular cards that are on top. So hi, Mrs. B. Just came home from a haircut. Not going to show. There she is. Hello. Do you like your haircut? Yeah. You like it? Okay, well that's good. It's always good to know that you like your haircut because you're stuck with it. <laughs> More Rinku. And we got Maho, not Mooney. I apologize. See, and this is what I mean by their ch chibi characters and their actual, um, you know, real form character. I, don't know, I, I like, I know Reaver for you is trying these chibi characters out. But uh, it seems like they're slowly getting away from that, which I think is good. I don't, I don't want them to stick with these chibi characters. Some are good, but I just like having the full form. And then we have Mooney here. Oh, I love this. I love this uh, video. It was around New Year's where Yuka actually chucked, I think it's Noichi, Noichio or something. That's his name. She chucked him in the air and everybody else is like in shock around there. And we got Ray. Who is Nanchan, which I am, it is, I hope, if you've ever seen her uh, sing on D4DJ, like live in person, uh, she is a little bit nervous. It's like her, her shy kind of, of person, personality, so hopefully one day she gets through that. And then here is my favorite band, or I guess you could say DJ group. This would be Peaky Peaky, so we got Kyoko. And here's Kyoko. Look at her. This is great. And the plus side of these cards were uh, the trial deck actually had some from the game. So that's where that's why it says D4DJ Groovy mix up at the top. Uh, that is from the actual game itself, which is going to be really, really cool. I, I really wanted to have these cards because of the fact that I play the mobile app game. So having these characters match up to the game itself is actually really cool. Uh, the artwork is really, really nice inside of the game, and that's why I can't wait for Bang Dream 5th Anniversary. I still, I've seen this picture so many times, and I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's just her, uh, it, it's her blowing a bubble gum, right? That's gotta be it. Yeah, I was like, for a while there, I'm like, I don't know if that was like her mouth open. That like little white thing is kind of like a tongue reflex, <laughs> tongue uh, uh, light on her tongue or something, but no, now that looks better. Hey, I just needed to see this version. So that's her blowing a bubble gum. Uh, and Yuka. We got Yuka. Love you. So great, yeah. Physically fit, though. Uh, I couldn't live that lifestyle. I remember in that anime, she was showing off her abs and talking about eating uh, very healthy. Very healthy. Which I guess that's what you need when you're when you have abs. I can't imagine living that kind of life. That ab life. I had a friend that actually uh, had abs and basically was eating salad and doing a million things of cardio, eating very, very healthy. And I'm like, I can't believe you actually do. Anyways, anyways, what we got here, we got, uh, we got our rever card. So this would be like our climax cards and Y Schwarz. So we got all the girls here. See, and that's what I mean with the Shikishis. I would love to have the other characters on there, but no, nope, it was just your leads. And again, we would get four of them. And then, uh, Peaky Peaky. So, here we are. Lovely group. And I really love that anime. I'm so glad they're bringing it back for a uh, second season. This time with all the different groups. We got Rei. And Shinobu. Oh, I, will, I will say, I wish it was something else other than Shinobu. Not that I don't love Shinobu, but I just don't like that bubblegum thing. And we got Ray as our partner, Karn. Partner, Hollow. I do like her, so I'm really excited about that. And lastly, we got Maho. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, we got Yuka. Oh man, I would have wished she would have been shiny, but I'm glad I got her partner card at the very least, so. Very, very nice, very nice. That is, oh shoot. My uh, piling on here was very, very terrible, as you can see. So I'm going to put those there. I'm going to do this, and we're going to move on to the next one. So I really hope I can do my... Uh, don't open cards like I do, because then you're going to have to fix them later, which is what I'm going to have to do. Next, what we got, we got Photon Maiden and Lyrical Lily. And Photon Maiden, definitely... Uh, second favorite. Actually, I don't know. I, I would say Ty. Ty with Peaky Peaky. They're both uh, really, really nice, and they have people that I really love in there, so I, I will say both. Lyrical Lily, I'm going to say is, is it, it's a, a cutesy type group. Like, if you actually hear their songs, it's, it's very cute type, which is uh, maybe not for me. Which is probably why I don't like them as much. And you could tell just by like their color scheme, right? We got like a um, pink. We got pink and, and green. So that's just how they are. They, they have that look. And for sure, that's what their songs reflect. And it's not for me. Come on. I will say, at the very least, I don't have to worry that someone tampered with these things. Because uh, the struggle is real every time I open one of these things. But the real question again, do I get a serial number? I honestly, it would be nice to get one, but I honestly don't care. Just because it's, um, Rebirth, I don't know, Rebirth for you. It's Rebirth for you. It's not really, it's not a big game. I don't ever see it being a big game. I don't think it'll ever come here to, to English at all. Uh, so anybody that was holding out hope for it, I mean, I wish you the best of luck, but I, I can't imagine this thing ever coming out to do English. Come on, baby. I feel like I'm playing Operation, trying to remove this from here. Okay. Oh, shoot. We got Saki. Do I show her? Yeah, here. Anyways, here's my Shikishi for her. Yeah, I like the close-up one, but then this thing is the foil. Shiny doesn't always mean better. I remember opening all those, man. That was that was brutal opening all those shikishis. Because I had to open 23 of them to get one of each. And there was only 13. So I had really, really, really bad luck that I had to open 23 of them to get 13 unique ones. Anyways. We got Saki. So if I were to get any serial number, I would really, really want this one. I would really love to have Saki. Super nice. I'm just waiting to see her chibi version to see how that actually. Yeah, no. I mean that that one's not bad, right? I guess that's not bad. Get a really big hat. No Saki. So the again the serial number would kick in at these uh chibi versions. So that was not <laughs> not what I wanted. Ubu Ibuki wouldn't be bad either. Come on, Ibuki. No. How about Toa? Toa's really cool. She loves to eat. You know me, I, I like a girl that uh that loves to eat, so. What? No, how about Noah? Anybody? Anybody answer my call. But uh, yeah, oh my god, I love their songs. They're so good. I'm going to try to squeeze one in here, but we'll, we'll find out. So, uh, the. I don't want to give away the anime, but if you haven't seen the anime yet, you'll probably never will. But um, I just remember one, they, they do have these DJ competitions. And at some point, when you hear Peaky Peaky come on, you're just like, holy crap, it's over, they won. You just you just know their song was really that good, and then a uh, photon maiden as they evolved throughout the anime, it their songs were really really nice. I'm just like flashing through these cards now. I like Karumi. 
Creamy here. She's like a uh, like a cat. Yeah. Honestly, she like a cat. She wears cat ears. I don't know if there's any cat ear uh, cards in here. I guess we aren't gonna be blessed with some cat ears. And cards are definitely thick. I almost felt like that card right there uh, felt like two cards, but there was only one card. And no serial number, unfortunately. So here are our group shots. And like I said, I expected it kind of to be this way because when I bought them, some of these were like the last one left. So being that it's the last one left, I can't imagine they were going to have serial numbers. But same time, you could always hope, right? Our first one. Ibuki. Yes, Saki, please. Saki. That is. Oh, I guess it's it's a buki day. So we got our Ibuki PD plus partner. Really nice. I do love these cards. I mean, they're they're super nice. And then we get not <laughs> not the ones I wanted. So. Uh, I will leave you all here. I always like taking out the partner cards. I mean, that's weird to do, but I do. I take out the partner cards and the, the flashy ones. Even if it's not like a, a shiny partner card, I remove them from the child decks. I did that with the Konosuba. Is that weird? Anybody that plays Rebirth for you to do, but I do that. Probably going to be a nightmare when I actually go to play it or attempt to play it because you need those partner cards, and I remove them from the child decks, so... Uh, more than likely, I should actually not have done that, but I am going to do that. <laughs> so, last one. We got Mermaid and Rondo. And I will say, kind of like the same along with Lyrical Lily. Uh, Mermaid, I do like some of their songs. It's definitely upbeat, really, really fast-paced on uh, a majority of them. And that's really fun and keeps you hyped up. Rondo, uh, but uh, as I say that, Mermaid, um, there's some songs that... I, I wouldn't say I don't like them. It's more just like it has the same feel as the previous song. So it doesn't feel as unique. And Rondo definitely hits, uh, feels more emotional, like their kind of song. So if you're into that, I think you'd like it. But uh, for me, definitely like, um, uh, like along the same lines as Lyrical Lily for me, where um, it's just not my type of thing, but I, I could see people love it. I, I know a lot of people like Rondo, but just not for me. I want to say, like, they're the... It's probably a horrible comparison. I was going to be, like, the Rosalia of, of Bang Dream, but that's not it at all. That is nowhere near correct, so I am not going to use that. I'll take it back. So, Rika, I know people love her a lot. Look at her. I might as well show her she keeps. I said I was gonna save it for later, but whatever. Here. I misplaced this one. But oh well, it doesn't matter. Rika. And we got Tsubaki. So. Go. Here's Miyu. Here's the other Miyu. Bam. Here's the other. Okay, so. Rika. You know you love her. She's uh, definitely a fun character inside of the actual app too. Like I love that uh, D four DJ app. It's really uh, fun, exciting, and it's definitely voice. It's like Bang Dream where they have a lot of uh, they use a lot of their voices in there where they didn't cheap out and just you know just have it all fully text. You have the voice actresses talking inside of there as well, so it's pretty fun. So if you like rhythm games. I would say definitely check out Bang Dream or D4DJ. Uh, you can play that on anything. They actually have a lot of competitions. So they just had one for D4DJ Groovy Mix where if you were like top 50, which I definitely was not, uh, if you were in top 50, you were eligible to go to an online meetup, which is actually really, really cool that they did something like that. So, okay, Rika. Definitely... Uh, you could tell by their outfits, definitely flashy, and that's what I mean. It, it feels upbeat. You could see her just uh, having lots of fun, loving life right now. That's what she's 
That's what she's doing. And uh, there she is. So happy. And uh, hopefully you can see what I mean. Like the chibi versions does capture like their fun happiness, but I just like the full, full art version of the person, the un, unadulterated version. Unadulterated, right? <laughs> so I did not get Rika. No. All right. Well, there's this always is going to happen. So we got Marika next. And no, how about sorry? That's her name. It's art. Don't call me a pervert. I said it was nice art. That's all. <laughs> That's all I was saying about that. Mrs. B is okay with it, so it's okay. And last we got Dahlia. Right, Dahlia. Wait, did I just miss a Dahlia card? Everybody got like a full version first and then their chibi version. Where'd she go? Maybe she's in the back or something. Okay, so. Oh, there she is. That's weird. I wonder if that's, that's not me how it goes. I'm pretty sure it was like full form into chibi form. But it doesn't matter because nothing happened there. So we got Tsubaki. We're on Rondo now. Rondo, Rondo, Rondo. Like I said, uh, you get and again, you get taught by your outfits, and that's why I said it's like the Rosalia, as in the Rosalia have like the darker type outfits, the fancy uh, outfits, but darker looking. And that's kind of how their songs are very, very e on the emotional side of of the wavelength here when it comes to different groups. So it's kind of an interesting pairing that you have like this box where it's like highly emotional versus high paced. So you got the mermaid and the rondo there. Right, like it's just the uh, differences there. We got Nagisa, who I, I think would be my favorite from uh, Rondo. Definitely a fun character. And then we have Hero. And if you check the Reddit on these things, people really like trying to shove these characters into relationships for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Uh, maybe just because there's just no, what, romance in these things? Um, that they try to stick, you, you know, some people together that probably aren't. You have that with Bang Dream, too, uh, where there's a lot of them being uh, shoved in together. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Everybody just has uh, imaginations, I guess. So we got Mermaid, uh, group Mermaid Shot. Let me screw them. And we got our Rondo Shot here. So yeah, I mean, for me, like, if I were to buy more Rebirth for you, which I definitely am going to do, because we got uh, Laid Back Camp coming up at some point, I'm definitely going to buy more displays, kind of like what I did with um, uh, Kona Suba. There we go, we got Sari. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, we got Nagisa Suite. And we finally got Dahlia. So that, that's a nice card. I like See, so for uh, Mermaid, it, like for this set, it, to me, I'm okay with it. Just because, again, what you just heard me say. But uh, Dahlia, she looked nice. Looking nice. Then we got Sauri and we got Tsubaki. That is it for the trial deck. Uh, I'm going to wrap that up there. So uh, last thing then. Was again, I just I just want to say because of uh, uh, this here. So this lady right here, Mocha. I'm gonna say Mocha. I don't know if that's how the correct pronunciation of it. Uh, she it, she plays Yuka, and uh, she had this whole thing happen with her back in the day. Uh, she had there's a meme about her called iPhone Shower. So she. Um, she showered her phone. She had to get it cleaned. And uh, let's see, origin, February 7th, 2021. Uh, she uploaded a picture of herself telling her followers that her camera had been taking blurry pictures from her Twitter. The tweet received 6,400 likes and 1,100 retweets. 
On the same day, she uploaded another photo on asking how to fix her phone. Um, she was asked why her camera phone was blurry, to which she answered, I've showered my phone. Uh, the tweet received more, uh, yeah. So anyways, it became trending because of that. And they made some uh, lovely uh, pictures in her various voice acting roles of her washing her phone. So she gets made fun of that a lot. Uh, unfortunately, whether she likes that or not, um, this is her, uh, they gave her a, a pouch for her phone for the shower. So uh, there we go. She seemed to be having a lot of fun with it, and, uh, and I guess deservingly so. Hopefully she doesn't take that too personally, but a uh, lovely character. I, I think my favorite from all of uh, D4DJ. Uh, I, I like Jenny. Jenny's really cool. And anyways, I'll see you later. We're going to be opening the booster box next.